In the early hours of a foggy morning, George and Evelyn packed their last-minute essentials, their excitement barely contained within the four walls of their cozy home. They were embarking on a journey they had dreamed of since they were young, a trip to Italy, the land of ancient ruins, Renaissance art, and delicious cuisine. With passports in hand and bags packed to the brim, they set off for the airport, their hearts fluttering with anticipation. George, a retired history teacher, had always been fascinated by the Roman Empire, its rise and fall, and its indelible marks on the modern world. Evelyn, his wife of 40 years, shared his enthusiasm, though her passion lay in Italian cuisine and art. Together, they made a pair united by curiosity and a zest for adventure. Their trip to Italy was not just a vacation, but the culmination of years of dreaming, planning, and saving. Upon arriving in Italy, their adventure began with promise. They explored the cobblestone streets of Rome, marveled at the Sistine Chapel, and dined on the finest pasta and gelato. But on their fourth day, the unexpected happened. While visiting the bustling markets of Florence, George and Evelyn separated in the crowd. George had stopped to examine an antique Roman coin, and when he looked up, Evelyn was nowhere in sight. Panic set in for both. George searched through the crowds of people, calling Evelyn's name but she was lost in a sea of faces. Meanwhile, Evelyn, who had wandered off to admire a display of Tuscan sunflowers, found herself disoriented and unable to trace her steps back to George. As the hours passed, their situation grew more desperate. George approached the local police, his Italian rusty but sufficient to convey the urgency of finding his wife. Remembering their hotel's name, Evelyn communicated with a kind-hearted local who offered to help her find her way back. Just as they were about to reunite at their hotel, a sudden downpour caused a flood in the streets, delaying Evelyn's return. Waiting in the lobby, George felt despair wash over him as the night grew darker, and Evelyn still hadn't appeared. Meanwhile, Evelyn found shelter in a quaint cafe, where the owner, seeing her distress, shared stories of his experiences of getting lost and finding his way back. This unexpected detour led to Evelyn learning more about the local culture. The following day, as the sun broke through the clouds, George, determined not to lose hope, decided to visit places Evelyn might go. He revisited the sunflower display, the antique shops, and even the cafe where Evelyn had found refuge. Unbeknownst to him, Evelyn, with the cafe owner's assistance, was retracing her steps back to the hotel her heart heavy with the thought of never seeing George again. Their paths almost crossed several times, with near misses that seemed to mock their efforts. George would leave a location moments before Evelyn arrived, and vice versa. The city, alive with its daily hustle, seemed indifferent to their plight. They were their own. The climax of their ordeal came when George, sitting exhausted on a bench in the Piazza della Signoria, spotted a group of street performers. Among the crowd, he thought he saw a familiar figure, a woman with a love for sunflowers and a smile that had brightened his life for four decades. Standing up, he moved closer, his heart racing. At that exact moment, Evelyn, drawn by the music, spotted George from across the square. Tears filled her eyes as she walked through the crowd, her steps quickening with every heartbeat. Just as they were about to embrace, a parade celebrating a local festival surged between them, separating them again with a tide of color and music. The irony of their situation, so close yet so far, weighed heavily on them. But this time, they refused to give up. They pushed through the crowd, determined not to let this chance slip away. And then finally, amidst the chaos and beauty of the Italian festival, George and Evelyn found each other. Their embrace was a testament to their enduring love, which had weathered the storm of uncertainty and separation. They realized that their adventure had given them more than just a story of getting lost and found. It had reaffirmed their bond, showing them that no matter what twists life may throw, they would always find their way back to each other. Their trip to Italy, which had started as a journey to explore history and art, became a much deeper exploration of their relationship and resilience. And as they continued their travels, now more inseparable than ever, 
They knew that this story would be one they'd cherish forever, a reminder of their love's ability to conquer even the most unexpected challenges.